Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will understand how a rational number terminates or eventually repeats. Now, first of all, let us see what does terminate mean. Now, when we have ended our conversation on phone, we terminate the phone call. So, to terminate means to end. Now we can write a rational fraction in decimal and that decimal number either terminates or eventually repeats. Now consider a fraction 7 by 8. Now we can change this fraction in decimal by dividing the numerator with the denominator. So now we will divide the numerator with the denominator. Now as 7 is smaller than 8, so we put a decimal in the quotient and we will annex a 0 to 7. And then we will divide as we do with the whole numbers. Now 8 into 8 is 64 and 70 minus 64 is 6. Now we get the remainder as 6 which is again smaller than 8. So we annex another 0 with 70 because we have already put decimal in the quotient. Now, 60 is greater than 8 and 8 into 7 is 56 and 60 minus 56 is 4. Now, we have got the remainder as 4 which is again smaller than 8. So, we annex one more 0 with 700. So, the remainder will become 40. Now 8 into 5 is 40 and now the remainder is 0. So the division terminates here as we have got the remainder as 0. Therefore 7 by 8 is equal to 0 0.875. And here we got the remainder as 0. This means 0 0.875 is a terminating decimal. So we can say that 7 by 8 is a rational number that terminates. Now let us see the definition of a terminating decimal. If the division ends or terminates that is when the remainder is 0 when the decimal is a terminating decimal And we say the terminating rational number. Let us see one more example for this. We are considering the fraction 9 by 4. Now here also for converting this fraction into decimal, let us divide the numerator by the denominator. Now 4 into 2 is 8. And the remainder is 1. Now here we have got the remainder as 1, which is smaller than 4. So now we will put a decimal in the quotient and we will annex a 0 with 9. So the remainder will become 10. 
Now 10 is greater than 4 and 4 into 2 is 8. So 10 minus 8 is 2. Now again we are getting the remainder as 2 which is smaller than 4. So again we will annex a 0 with 90. So the remainder will become 20. Now 4 into 5 is 20 and we get the remainder as 0. That means the division terminates. We have got 9 by 4 is equal to 2.25 which is a terminating decimal. Now, not all fractions can be written as terminating decimals. Sometimes a digit or group of digits repeats without end in the quotient. That is called non-terminating decimal. Now let us see one example for this. Here consider the fraction 1 by 6. Now to convert it in decimal form, let us divide the numerator with the denominator. Now 1 is smaller than 6. So we will put a decimal in the quotient and we will annex a 0 with 1. Now 10 is greater than 6 and 6 into 1 is 6 and we get the remainder as 4 which is again smaller than 6 so we will annex one more 0 with 10 so the remainder will become 40 now 6 into 6 is 36 and the remainder is 4 which is smaller than 6 so we will annex one more 0 with 100 and now again the remainder becomes 40 now 6 into 6 is 36 and again we get to the remainder as 4. Now we can put as many zeros with 1 till we get the remainder 0 or numbers in the quotient start repeating. At that point we will stop the division. Now here you can see that the number 6 is repeating in the quotient because every time we are getting the same remainder 4. It means it is endless division. So we can write 1 by 6 is equal to 0 0.166 and so on which can be written as 0 0.16 bar. Now here we will put a bar on the digit which is repeating. So here we can say that 1 by 6 is a non-terminating fraction. And 0 0.16 bar is a non-terminating decimal. So if the division never ends and digit or group of digits repeats then that is a non-terminating decimal. And we say the non-terminating rational number. Now let us see one example where group of digits repeat. So here let us take the fraction 6 by 11. So let us start the division. Now here 6 is smaller than 11. 
So we will put a decimal in the quotient and we will annex a 0 with 6. So this becomes 60. Now 11 into 5 is 55. So we get the remainder as 5 which is smaller than 11. So again we will annex a 0 with 60. So the remainder will become 50. Now 11 into 4 is 44. So we get the remainder as 6. Again we will annex a 0 with 600. And the remainder will become 60. Now 11 into 5 is 55. So the remainder is 5. Now again we will repeat the same process. Now 11 into 4 is 44. So the remainder is again 6. Now here you can see we get the remainders 5 and 6 alternatively. So division does not end. And 54 is repeated in the quotient. So 6 by 11 is equal to 0 0.5454 and so on which is equal to 0 0.54 power. Now here we have put the power on the group of digits which is repeating. Now let us see some remarks. And the first one is and that is if the fraction is negative, the decimal is also negative and the division remains same. Now here you can see we have got 6 by 11 is equal to 0 0.54 bar. Now according to this remark, minus 6 by 11 will be equal to minus 0 0.5454 and so on which is equal to minus 0 0.54 bar. And secondly, when denominator is 10, 100, 1000 and so on, then the fraction is always terminating. For example, let us take the fraction 3 by 100. Now let us divide the numerator with the denominator. Now 3 is smaller than 100. So we will put a decimal in the quotient. And we will annex a 0 with 3. Now 30 is again smaller than 100. So we have to attach one more 0. Now for putting two zeros together, we put a zero after the decimal in the quotient and then we will start division. Now here 100 into 3 is 300. So we will get the remainder as zero. So 3 by 100 is equal to 0 0.03. Similarly, 9 by 100 is equal to 0 0.09. 55 by 100 is equal to 0 0.55. 33 by 10 is equal to 3.3 and so on. So in this session, we have learnt how a rational number terminates or eventually repeats. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.